pretty expensive. It'll help you get uh, rupees. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. As long as I just break literally every single thing I have hitting this stupid thing. I'm gonna break all my weapons. I just know it. I got some arms to hit him with. I'm gonna beat him to death with some arms that belong to other people. Um, can I do this? Nope. Uh, I can't freeze it either. Okay. This is as good as it's gonna get. Just hitting it with this. Oh! Man. He's like... I feel very invested in this fight. I have to use like all my stuff that I made earlier though, but it's for the greater good. Oh no. Oh no. I'm the blowing off his arms! Setting. Oh. Oh, he's gonna punch me. He's gonna punch me. Wrong way to go. He's done a difficult. Uh... Ooh, look at that. Only I had more arrows. Oh shoot. Oh gosh. Miss. Why is this guy fighting me? He's just a rock. Oh gosh. This is intense. Oh gosh, okay. Once again. Obviously not my best game. <laughs> Crushing me. I don't know if this is actually gonna happen. We don't have enough arrows. I wish we did, but. <sighs> is there like a traveling arrow salesman we can get in touch with right now? That'd be nice. Okay, let me climb you. Oh, no! This doesn't happen. We'll just have to make do. Just gonna break this, man. Only I had some more. I wish he could just beat it with his fists. Like I don't know why it has to be such a thing. We can totally do this. Okay, we'll make it. We'll we'll make it. We just have to be smart about it. Just gonna blow off his limbs. Here we go. We got you. We got you. Oh no. Oh no, we don't. We don't. We don't. <laughs> the music's kind of like weirdly uh, low key. It's kind of like bumbling and strange for like how serious this fight is. Uh, I should probably just jump actually. So I'm gonna just jump. Here we go, here we go. Ah! Ah! Yeah! Woo! My gosh. What an ordeal. Is that the end of the game? Ruby? <laughs> Amber? Oh man. Okay, well that was fun. Um. Unexpected, but fun. I hope you enjoyed it, if you're still there.
That was like the first boss I had, which is kind of like a weird sub boss. It didn't really. It wasn't like announced or anything, so. I'm not gonna save it after that. Even though I used like literally every single resource that I had. Um, but yeah. Nice. Took me a second to figure out what to do, but. Can I make arrows from flint? Uh, I don't believe so. I don't think you can fletch arrows. Um, because you can only. I think you can make you can make fire from the flint. Strike it with a metallic weapon to generate a spark. Yeah, you can put it down next to like a wood, uh, like a wood, um, not wood stove, but next to wood or whatever, and it'll um, set it on fire if you hit it. But other than that, yeah, you can't you can't make your own bow and arrow uh, stuff, unfortunately. Which would be you know nice, but with these dudes, I need some resources. So I'm just gonna walk in here. I think I'll be fine. These are just regular Bokoblin, so... I don't know why I'm struggling so much with the words, like, Bokoblin. It just it just doesn't roll off the tongue for me. And I read a ton of fantasy, it's just like... It's just weird, you know? Bokoblin. 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 Oh, there's some... Okay, there's some uh, arrows. There's a stake over here, too, which I need. Hey, guys. Oh, missed. Got it. Beeline, beeline, beeline. This sword's a little big for me, but... Oh, ow. I'm okay. Shake it off. It's cool, though, like I said earlier, it's stuff that you wouldn't really expect. Like, if you shoot an arrow and miss, you can, you can find the arrow. If it's like, it'll be sticking out of wherever, and you can actually take it back. So that's kind of neat. A little nice little added thing. Ah, steak, good. Let's grab these clubs. I don't really want them, but I mean, a little star for resources at this point. My claymore's about to break. Just gotta keep going west and north, hoping uh, I don't encounter another uh, giant monster like that, because that was unexpected. But fun. I did. I had fun with it. A nice little, uh, a nice little, oh my God, this nice little uh, mini game boss. Got a lizard in my pocket. My pockets are just a mess now. So much stuff in them. Oh, great plateau. Okay, cool. Oh, well, I don't know. I guess I can. I go here. Uh, I think I can. Why not? Just say yes. Which is good for the, with this game. You can just choose to do something and then do it. So. Oh wait, am I going north? I'm going north. Wrong way. Oh man, a merchant. Exactly what I need. Sir. Hello. Beetle. Oh man, I'm selling. I'm selling some... Uh... Not snails. Look at this. Selling some. I'll sell all of them. How about that? 450 yes. rubies. 15 times 30. Yep. Yeah. Look at all that amber. Uh, okay. So let's let me buy some stuff, please. Well, this was fortuitous. I wonder if they program it so if you're like low on stuff, you'll encounter some people. Um, 20. He's got 20. I want 20. <laughs> Restless Cricket, I need uh, 10 of them for a quest, so I'll take them all. I have enough. Um, Hardy Lizard. Uh, I don't need that. Just buy two of these. Why not? Just clean them out. Wow. Thanks, man. Whew. That was fortuitous. I wish Bill was here, but can't. he's like, where is Bill? Is he just on vacation somewhere? Bill is at the beach again! Where is Bill when you need him? Oh, hey, here's another N. Nice. Whew. Hmm. Scavenge. Uh. Oh, I will buy. Oh. Ooh, fire arrows. I will buy five. Take them all. 100 rupees, okay. If 
Fire arrows are really, really useful, mostly because they have, um, what's it called, uh, conveniently placed red barrels, as you do in video games, uh, around some uh, of the forts that you'll visit. I am. Uh, check out my album. Hmm. This is that Sanadin Park Ruins. Hey, it's a park, like Disneyland. From northwest of here, you'll find this statue. Okay, cool. Do you white horses? Like a moth. Well, white horse on Saffala Hill. One of the customers said he saw a white horse on Saffala Hill. Leave it to me. Saffala Hill. It's like Shadow Facts from Lord of the Rings. It's very elusive. Okay, we'll find it. Let's get all these side quests here, you know? Oh. Oh. Smash here, which I can't hold it. Sounds oh. rough. Some meat for energy. Uh, Gourmet meat. So bring him some meat, I guess. I, well, I don't need to register a horse. I need a horse, actually. Hey, it's Bill. Take horse. Oh, thank you. Jeez. Oh, hey, Bill. Up. Mm. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to talk to him again. Uh. Raw gourmet meat. <laughs> go to Satori Mountain, just in front of Hyrule Ridge to go hunting. You are Trot. Uh. It works a lot in this place. Mm. Hyrule Ridge is to the north, southwest Gerudo Desert. Gerudo? That'd be fun to go, like Gerudo Valley. Oh, we should do some cooking, actually, real quick, because, man, uh, I lost a lot of health and stuff, so just pardon me while I cook up some stuff real, real quick. Some mighty carp. It's probably one of my favorite parts of the game, the little jingle. It's fun. Some pepper seafood. Very nice. Um, what else can I cook? I know this is not the most interesting part, but I have some crab. Uh, add some peppers and some mushroom. Kind of mushroom. Ooh, there we go. That sounds good. It's making me hungry. Can you finally use all those uh, those uh, pocket frogs and stuff? I know I have some pocket frogs and lizards. So you put like a lizard. And then you mix the lizard with like monster parts, and that will give me an elixir. I feel bad that I just like stole these, uh, this lady's cauldron and then just like throwing random stuff in it, but. Oh well. There we go. Look at that. It's an interesting way of, uh, kind of evolving the series, you know? Increase your maximum stamina. Wait. Yeah, coach with monster parts. Sorry, I was just making sure. But yeah, it's like a, it's interesting that they added all these little RPG elements. It's kind of a surprising move, almost, I think. Um, you know, I, not that I don't expect that from Nintendo, but sometimes they, you know, do like a slightly safer move, and this was kind of like a, ref a refreshingly uh, different uh, choice, I think. Just throwing a bunch of stuff in there. You also can upgrade your like uh, your costume. You can make it uh, more, you can change the color and get it dye, you know, uh, change your dye job. It's pretty cool. I really enjoy it. Let's 
So apologies, I'm almost done with this part. Just trying to get all these little elixirs so I'll be able to survive my next encounter with the 